this video, I'm going to open up a new wedge kit and show you guys how to use and make the most of your kit. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch the Concealment Sweet Spot and Poke and Check videos, as well as our two-part wedge series prior to this video. But if not, I am going to link those down below and briefly summarize those topics in this video. So first things first, you need to find your body's concealment sweet spot. Without that foundation, the rest of the process is going to be a bit like shooting in the dark. Every body has natural peaks and valleys, and it's important to make sure your gun is positioned into a valley and off of a peak. This model sweet spot is right around 1.30 to 2 o'clock. This one at 1.30 and 12 o'clock. Keep in mind that all of these models are right-handed users. Hopefully you have a better idea for where to start with your concealment sweet spot after seeing this concept overview on a few different body types. So now that you've placed your gun in your concealment sweet spot, you'll want to look down at your concealment and take note of portions of the gun that, if brought in closer to the body, could conceal more effectively. For most, this is the rear sight, optic, or the edge of the grip. To learn which portions of the gun need to move closer to your body, simply poke and check. Keep this concept in mind as we will use it once we start applying our wedge kit. If you'd like to dive deeper into the poke and check method, check out this video. When it comes to wedge use, there is one main concept to understand, and that is wherever we place the wedge, it will move the opposite side of the gun into the body. So you'll see here, when I place the wedge on the slide side of the holster, it moves the grip of the gun into the body. When I place the wedge on the bottom end of the holster, it presses the top of the gun into the body. Now that we have a basic understanding of peaks and valleys, the poke and check method, and wedge use, let's apply these principles to our new wedge kit. When it comes to setting up a holster for my concealment needs, I prefer to start with the gun outside of my pants. But before doing this, make sure you've attached your Velcro to the holster. If you're using your wedge kit with a belt and a holster and not an Enigma, you can simply put your belt on outside your pants and attach your holster for setting up your wedge placement. Now that we have our gun on, we can revisit the poke and check method. I'm pretty happy with how my gun is interacting with my body here, but I think I'd like my grip to move in slightly. So I'm going to grab this thinner wedge, attach the hook and loop, and with the holster on my body, I'll place my wedge like so. Doing it this way gives me instant feedback on my wedge placement. If you'd rather do this on a tabletop and not on body, that's perfectly acceptable as well. I just find that doing it this way allows me to take in that instant feedback and dial in the exact placement that I want faster. The thing I really like about this wedge kit is that there are so many different shapes and sizes. Wedges are designed to be a fulcrum for your gun to help even out the gun on an uneven surface, but they can also be used to pad uncomfortable pinching points on the holster. For example, the bottom end of the holster can be a hot spot for a lot of people, particularly when we are spending longer periods of time bending or sitting. To remedy this, you can simply place your wedge slightly off the edge of the holster. That way, when you go to sit or bend, the wedge wraps under the holster and provides a cushion. These wedges are designed to have some give and to move with you. They're also great for creating unique shapes by building on top of each other. If you choose to stack your wedges, keep in mind that as they settle into position, they might need small tweaks to ensure that they settle exactly where you want them. For example, say I want this wedge to sit here, but when it's compressed into my body, it settles here. I'll want to move it ever so slightly to ensure that when it settles against the body, it doesn't change the overall concealment results. And that was your complete guide on making the most out of your wedge kit. Every body type, gun choice, and holster design pairing will produce different wedge placement needs, but the methods we discussed in this video should give you the full framework that you'll need for dialing in any setup. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content like this.